guys, uh, Ken with Second Skin here. We're uh, going to demonstrate to you some of the differences between quality beetle rubber and beetle rubber with ch uh, cheap fillers. Um, on the wall here is a graph uh, demonstrating some materials that were tested. The, uh, the yellow is the Amplifier Pro, the green is the Amplifier, the red is a competitor's brand with some cheap fillers in it, and the blue is bare metal. And you can see the differences are pretty dramatic. Um, and uh, we'll take you out into the warehouse and we're going to do a test to, uh, to demonstrate uh, how you can simply see which chemicals or whatever, how the chemicals react with uh, good butyl rubber and uh, butyl rubber that has a lot of fillers in it. So uh, come on out to the warehouse. <clears throat> Uh, they look and smell almost identical. This is a competing brand. This is Amplifier Pro. They're, uh, they're both very sticky. They, they, they go onto the metal and they, they bond very, very well. Um, this one's a little bit gooier. This is, again, this is the competing brand. This is Amplifier Pro. From visual inspections, uh, they almost look identical. Here, here's actually a couple of the test pieces getting ready to go into a, a solvent called Xylene. And um, this is this is the competitor's brand. And again, if you if you look at it, touch it, feel it, it's it's, it's got a little thinner thinner foil than the Amplifier Pro. Uh, we peel back the wax paper. It looks exactly the same. Feels exactly the same. And and have, both of them have virtually no smell to them at all. Yeah. So so by by visual appearances, uh, you you can't tell them apart. But uh, here's here's where the uh, where the where the differences are changed. We're gonna we're gonna put them in in some xylene, and you'll notice uh, I'm gonna peel off the wax paper. And I'm gonna drop the competitor's brand in, and we'll peel off the wax paper and we'll replace the, uh, the amplifier pro in, and you'll be able to see pretty quickly. I'm going to seal these up. This stuff smells really bad. So the Amplifier Pro virtually does not re react. And the uh, competitor's brand is not reacting just yet. They're not going to really see any results for uh, 15 minutes at least. But So, so we'll, we'll come back. Um, you can do this, do a little uh, attempt to do some sort of time lapsing where the uh, the time right now, show them the time next, it's, it's 11, almost 11.30. We'll come back and we'll we'll, uh, we'll do another take in um, in 15 minutes or so. And uh, the uh, like I say, the competitor's brand will, will be dissolving as time goes on to where, where it's literally the, the xylene will turn black brown from their, their product. Kind of a delicious amber color, like a beer that kills you when you drink it. Alright, so uh, should we come back in uh, 15 minutes and see how it's doing? Let's do it. Alright. All right. It's uh, Max and Ken here with Second Skin. We're back. It's 15 minutes after... Um, has it been 15 or is it less? It's been like 9. Okay, it's been about 9 minutes since we put the uh, the competitor's product and the Damplifier Pro in the Xylene. Um... There's a watch. Visual same, proof. Same watch as before. Yep. And uh, it's already the competitor's product's already starting to look mm -hmm. like a black snow globe. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of a lot of particles in there. Um, and for comparison, here is the uh, the Damplifier Pro. Still crystal clear. I mean, obviously the adhesives probably aren't going to be working anymore, but um, this is a blatant proof of the lack of fillers and the rather large abundance of fillers. Now fillers, I mean obviously your sound ender is not going to be doused in heavy solvents when it's installed, but the, the fillers um, which are dissolving in the solvent will detract from the effect of any sound ender, any constraint layer deadener. Um, and uh, like we said earlier, this product in terms of appearance, when we felt it, we smelled it, had almost no smell. Um, and uh, it felt almost the exact same. It's uh, sticky and all that. But what they do is instead of using asphalt, uh, is they use something called bitumen or other similar um, fillers which have no smell, 
but still are cheaper and detract from the effect. Hey, you get what I'm saying. Um, so I guess that uh, that concludes the xylene test of Damplifier versus unnamed competitor. Okay, this is um, Max and Ken with Second Skin Audio. Uh, back, it's been about 24 hours since we dipped the uh, competitor's product and our products in xylene. And uh, something kind of interesting here, you will notice, I don't know if you can see this, but there is no butyl on that rubber anymore, or on that foil anymore. It's none. You can see it above the, uh, the xylene, you can see there's still... Uh, <laughs> and it's falling off of there too, okay. That's just from the vapors. It's actually dissolving. The vapors in the jar are actually dissolving the, uh, the butyl uh, on the top part. So yeah, to recap one, little, one more time, Black Snow Globe. Second Skin USA made products. Just about nothing. It's over 24 hours, you guys, of, uh, of soaking in it. And, uh, you know, it, it, I, I believe the amplifier may even still be usable. I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, don't, don't soak your product in xylene before you use it. It's a bad idea. Yeah, it's all it's kind of soft where I'm touching it. I'm probably gonna oh, get, yeah. I'm probably going to get cancer from the xylene, huh, Max? Oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty lovely. It's pretty gooey. Okay, so yeah, it's don't... It's supposed to completely being dissolved in the other the other product. It does not fall apart. You could Damplifier probably, Pro. Yeah, we could probably dry that piece of Damplifier Pro out and use it. Uh, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, that is... Uh, that is the last part of our uh, little filler experiment. I uh, hope you enjoyed.